In the world of networking, understanding STP variants is a vital skill. The Spanning Tree Protocol, or STP, and its variants are the backbone of many network designs. They are like the unsung heroes working behind the scenes to ensure our networks run smoothly and efficiently. The Spanning Tree Protocol was developed to prevent bridge loops in network designs. Bridge loops can cause a whole host of problems, including broadcast radiation, multiple frame transmission, and MAC table instability. By utilizing STP and its variants, we can avoid these issues and create a loop-free topology, which is a critical aspect of complex network design. Now let's talk about STP variants. These are essentially different versions of the spanning tree protocol that have been developed over the years. Each variant has its unique features and advantages, and they are designed to address specific networking needs. Some of the most common STP variants include Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol, RSTP, Multiple Spanning Tree Protocol, MSTP, and Rapid Pervland Spanning Tree Plus, Rapid PVST Plus. The importance of understanding these variants cannot be overstated, especially for network engineers. These professionals are responsible for designing, implementing, and troubleshooting networks. To do this effectively, they must have a deep understanding of STP and its variants. This knowledge allows them to choose the most suitable variant for a particular network, taking into account factors such as network size, complexity, and specific operational requirements. Moreover, understanding STP variants is crucial for troubleshooting network issues. Often, network problems can be traced back to issues with the spanning tree protocol or its implementation. By having a solid grasp of STP and its variants, network engineers can identify and resolve these issues more effectively, ensuring network stability and performance. As we delve deeper into the world of STP variants, remember, each variant has its unique features and applications. In the following scenes, we'll explore some of these variants in more detail, starting with the Multiple Spanning Tree Protocol, or MSTP. One of the key STP variants is the Multiple Spanning Tree Protocol, or MSTP. This protocol has carved a niche for itself in the world of network design, primarily because it brings a level of flexibility and efficiency that is unmatched. But what actually is MSTP? Let's dive in. At its core, MSTP is an evolution of the original spanning tree protocol. It retains the essence of STP, but adds a few layers of complexity and sophistication. MSTP allows for something called multiple spanning tree instances, which is where the multiple in its name comes from. But what does that mean and why is it important? Imagine a busy highway with several lanes. Each lane is like a VLAN in a network, carrying its own unique traffic. Now, the original STP would treat this highway as one single entity, managing all lanes together. This is like having one traffic cop for the entire highway, which can lead to inefficiencies and bottlenecks. Enter MSTP. With MSTP, we can create multiple instances of the spanning tree protocol. Each instance is like a separate traffic cop for each lane on the highway. This allows for more efficient management of traffic, as each VLAN can have its own separate instance, avoiding the bottlenecks that could occur with a single instance. This is the beauty of MSTP. It gives network designers the flexibility to manage VLAN traffic more efficiently and effectively. Each instance can be configured independently, allowing for a more granular level of control. It's like having a team of traffic cops, each with their own specific assignment, ensuring that traffic flows smoothly and efficiently. But MSTP doesn't stop there. It also incorporates features from Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol, RSTP, providing faster convergence times. This means that MSTP networks can recover more quickly from changes or failures, further enhancing their reliability and efficiency. MSTP, with its ability to handle multiple instances, brings a new level of flexibility and efficiency to network design. It's a powerful tool in the arsenal of any network engineer, allowing for more sophisticated and efficient network designs. It's not just about managing traffic, it's about optimizing it. Another notable STP variant is Rapid PVST Plus. 
So what is Rapid PVST Plus? It stands for Rapid Pervland Spanning Tree Plus. As the name suggests, this protocol operates at a rapid pace and is VLAN specific, meaning it can run a separate instance of spanning tree for each VLAN, making it a more efficient option for complex networks. Now, let's delve into the advantages of Rapid PVST Plus over the original STP. The original spanning tree protocol, while effective in preventing loops, has a relatively slow convergence time. This is where Rapid PVST Plus comes in. It significantly increases the speed of network convergence, thereby reducing the time it takes for the network to react to changes. This is a critical improvement, as in today's fast-paced digital world, even a few seconds can make a world of difference. Rapid PVST Plus also brings another significant advantage. It uses a mechanism known as link type. This mechanism allows it to differentiate between point-to-point -point links and shared links, further speeding up the convergence process. Moreover, it also enhances the fault tolerance of the network by implementing rapid transition for edge ports and point-to-point -point link types. Now how does it do this? Rapid PVST Plus utilizes the concept of proposal and agreement. When a switch port is ready to forward traffic, it sends a proposal to the neighboring switch. The neighboring switch, if it agrees, stops sending traffic and sends back an agreement. This way, Rapid PVST Plus ensures a loop-free topology during convergence. In the grand scheme of things, Rapid PVST Plus is an essential tool for network engineers. It facilitates faster convergence times and enhances overall network performance. It is particularly beneficial in large networks where numerous VLANs are in operation as it can provide a separate instance of spanning tree for each VLAN. With Rapid PVST Plus, network engineers can achieve faster convergence times, enhancing the overall network performance. Understanding the differences between MSTP and Rapid PVST Plus is crucial in selecting the right protocol for your network. Let's kick off the comparison by looking at the features of these two protocols. MSTP or multiple spanning tree protocol, allows for several spanning trees over a single network, providing a balance between resource usage and redundancy. On the other hand, Rapid PVST Plus, short for Rapid Per VLAN Spanning Tree Plus, is a Cisco proprietary protocol that maps each VLAN to a separate spanning tree instance, resulting in faster convergence times. Now, let's delve into the advantages. MSTP offers the benefit of reducing the number of spanning tree instances, which conserve CPU cycles and network bandwidth. It's particularly effective when you have a large number of VLANs. Conversely, Rapid PVST Plus shines in its rapid convergence, which minimizes downtime and enhances network efficiency. It's a great choice for networks where quick recovery from link or switch failures is paramount. As for the handling of VLANs and instances, MSTP differs significantly from Rapid PVST Plus. In MSTP, you can map multiple VLANs to a single spanning tree instance, reducing the total number of instances and thus saving resources. This is a stark contrast to Rapid PVST Plus, where each VLAN is mapped to its own spanning tree instance, allowing for more granular control and quicker response to changes in individual VLANs. In terms of appropriate use cases, MSTP finds its niche in larger, more complex networks with numerous VLANs where resource conservation is a key factor. Rapid PVST Plus, however, is more suited for networks where rapid recovery and immediate response to changes are more important than resource usage. To sum up, MSTP and Rapid PVST Plus each have their unique features and advantages and handle VLANs and instances in their own ways. The choice between them depends largely on the specific needs and design considerations of your network. Choosing between MSTP and Rapid PVST Plus depends on your network needs and design considerations. Today, we've taken a deep dive into the world of STP variants focusing on MSTP and Rapid PVST Plus. We've embarked on a journey to comprehend the complexities of network protocols and hopefully you've gained a substantial understanding on the subject. Let's take a moment 
To recap the key points we've discussed, we began by establishing the importance of STP variants. We learned that these variants are crucial to prevent loops in the network, ensuring the network's stability and efficiency. We then ventured into MSTP, the Multiple Spanning Tree Protocol. We learned about its unique ability to map multiple VLANs into a single spanning tree, providing a solution to the limitations of the traditional STP. This feature, coupled with its ability to balance the traffic load across different paths, makes MSTP a powerful tool in the arsenal of network engineers. Next, we dived into the details of Rapid PVST Plus. We discovered that Rapid PVST Plus is an evolution of the traditional STP, designed to speed up the network's response to topology changes. This protocol provides rapid convergence, making it a fantastic choice for networks where quick response times are paramount. Finally, we compared and contrasted MSTP and Rapid PVST Plus. While both protocols have their unique strengths, the choice between them depends on the specific needs of the network. MSTP is a great choice when handling multiple VLANs, while Rapid PVST Plus shines in situations where rapid response to changes is required. And so, we wrap up our exploration of STP variants. I hope this discussion has enriched your understanding and equipped you with the knowledge to make informed decisions when dealing with network design and troubleshooting situations. Remember, understanding STP variants is essential in mastering network design and troubleshooting. Keep learning, keep growing, and see you in the next episode.